Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction. And today we're going to be doing part four of season nine for The Big Bang Theory. And I got to say, part three ended on such a cliffhanger with Amy liking Sheldon back again and wanting him back as his girlfriend. And then Sheldon's the one that flipped the script and goes, well, I think we should just be friends. And it's, it is awesome to see how vulnerable Sheldon is so far in this season. Like the fact that he, how do I want to word it? The fact that he acknowledges that that's the one thing that he just cannot do normally. Like, he can't function like that with everything else that he does function with, with Amy. So, it makes sense, and it feels great to see him go through this. It's kind of an awesome character development, but... If you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to part four of my Big Bang Theory reactions, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video for my Patreon, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon Cooper's descent into madness. Day yeah, two. that doesn't look good. <laughs> it's 2.25 a.m., and I feel the urge to urinate, but here I am, in the middle of the night, struggling to keep my mind sharp. So go to the bathroom and throw that schedule away. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before my tenuous grasp on reality fades. I suppose I should pee while I still know what a toilet is. <laughs> Since when do you hum songs? How does your brain feel about calculating the surface tension of the domain walls? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> I was humming. <laughs> One point for Hufflepuff. <laughs> He's still again? doing it. Well, uh, hum it again. My country tis of the no. <laughs> it's just no. a near worm. It'll come to you. Okay. R e s p e c t no. <laughs> Hello, yes, I was hoping you could help me. What song is this? La, 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 la. You don't know. Who is well, it? How dare you call yourselves a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? <laughs> My goodness, do you sing along to the greatest hits of Elvis Presley with that mouth? Something's wrong with me. No, I, I told you if we were patient, he'd figure it out for himself. <laughs> uh, I was always afraid this day would come. This might be the first step of my descent into madness, where I gradually test the limits of public nudity. What the hell? Or where did you go to that for? Hello? Hi, Dave. Uh, it's Amy. Oh, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, terrific. And pleasantly surprised to hear from you, given how I acted on our last date. Friday, farmer's market with Jay-Z. Sunday, what the hell? piano shopping with Elton John. Saturday, no. Did you know, at the United Nations, there's a department for outer space affairs? Oh, this is cool. So, a few weeks ago, I set up a fan page on Facebook for our band, and I- Wait a second. How could you do that without consulting me? It's not a big deal. It just took like five minutes to set up. That's not the point. Maybe I should go solo. What the heck? Someone <laughs> joined our page. We have an actual fan. All right, this thing's bigger than you and me. Band's back together. <laughs> Why do rock stars do drugs when this feels so great? <laughs> I I can't imagine that I know any rock stars that I can ask. This, song. <laughs> this is taking far too long. If they get this stuck in my the head, I'm to gonna break something. My head something. against the wall again and again and again and again and again is strong. Dear crazy future Sheldon, you were driven <laughs> mad by an earworm. Your mind, once your most trusted asset, is now a sack of parrots and monkeys. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Uh, first, music is dangerous. If she offers you food, it's safe to take it. You probably paid for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, she has a very good Can job. Can we go here with Dave again? Why not? He's actually a very nice guy. He spends an entire day talking about how much he loves Sheldon. I mean, I tried to get back together with Sheldon. He shot me down. Dave likes me. Maybe intimate is what I need. Are you sure? You've never really been with a man. Do you really want to start with one that's six foot seven? <laughs> Why not? Because 
It's like taking your driver's test in a bus. Yeah, I see what she, I see where she's going with that. Thanks for digging our vibe. We'll keep rocking if you keep rolling. Dude, if or I just was say a thank bra, you. I'd throw it at your head right now. <laughs> I'll keep rocking. You don't do that. He brews his own beer. He's got awesome tattoos. Dude, he's got a hot girlfriend, too. Damn. I don't know if he's our biggest fan or I'm his. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trent just liked our comment. He is so cool. No hard feelings, but I'm throwing my hypothetical bra at him. <laughs> he's still going. Go talk to him. Oh, come on, I take care of him all day long. You do it for once. What? what? Who got the gum out of his hair? What do you want? A medal? It was your gum. What are you doing in my room? I... Stop it! That's mine. Oh Why my God. Are you so strong. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> oh. Now he's gonna start knocking on the wall. <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> Oh yeah, he got a tuba. <laughs> this is your spot. You're very protective of it. When anyone else tries to sit here, you berate them relentlessly. And it sounds mean. Didn't Leonard and Petty have sex on that spot? So like, he didn't defend it very well. This is Leonard. He's your best friend in the world. Just stop it. This is ridiculous. Sometimes he gets cranky. <laughs> <laughs> but you can trust him with your life. And he does more things for you than I can even begin to list. Who's Trent? Oh, he's our fan. Fan of what? Uh, <laughs> did you forget we're in a band? You mean because you played one time in the comic book store? And at the children's hospital until they asked us to leave. <laughs> hey, dude, Trent just checked in at the coffee shop on Fair Oaks. Really? You want to go down there no, and meet him? No, don't Are do you it. Are stalking him? That's creepy. From there, it was easy to find him on Instagram, Snapchat, and pretty much track his every movement. So if you think that's creepy, you married the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's more than what I Maybe would I do. Maybe should Trent. Yeah, like she could get Trent. Nothing takes the sting out of a shattered life like a properly seasoned bowl of onion soup. <laughs> How long have you uh, lived here? Uh, about five years. I'm actually thinking of moving to a better place now that I don't need to be so close to... Well, you know. I do. Well, let's change the subject. No more mentions of you-know-who. <laughs> That's a cool train. Where did you get that? <laughs> Are we seriously still going, Sheldon? Plenty of smart people who don't have mental problems. Yeah, she's right. For every Newton who had a psychological issue, there's an Edison who was just a jerk. That could totally be you. <laughs> Empedocles thought he was a god and jumped into a volcano. You know, Pythagoras had an irrational fear of beans. The list extends outside of science. You know, painters like Van Gogh and Pollock, chess champion Bobby Fischer, and Brian Wilson. I remember the song. All right, th there he is. So. Should we introduce ourselves? No, let him spot us. <laughs> I wonder if he's listening to our music right now. Could you imagine? What a cool way for us to meet. He's playing oh our boy. song and looks up and there what we are. What if it's not him? His favorite two-piece acoustic sci-fi novelty rock band. I can't watch. It, it, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. He's done. Why is he looking at it? <laughs> And uh, he's not going to eat it, is he? Oh, oh no. Trent, you're better than that. <laughs> he probably did that because he noticed her staring at him. There's no Just way. Go. I wonder why it was this particular song that was stuck in my head. Oh, it's pretty catchy. Of course. I'm already seeing a more efficient way of taming the ultra... I know why oh, the song no. was in my head. Why? It's about Amy. Okay, look, I know Amy's like an old lady, but she's not old enough to have a song from the 60s written about her. <laughs> I was living like half a man. Then I couldn't love, but now I can. More soul than I ever had. I love the way you soften my life. Huh. She did soften your life, didn't she? She yes. did do all that. You're the lint trap of my love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's still on that date. Uh-oh. 
That's an interesting tie clip. Oh, thanks. It's uh, Avogadro's Constant. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry. No one's ever liked the tie clip before, so I just lost all control. I... <laughs> no, it, it's okay, and we are on a date. I'm, I'm just a little nervous. Amy? Amy? <laughs> Amy? Oh, no. That's Sheldon. You're kidding. How's my hair? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this guy. There was a song I couldn't get out of my head. Eventually, I realized the song was about you. And like that earworm, I can't get you out of my heart. So what I'm trying to say is, you're my heartworm. I know where he's going with the this. The metaphorical <laughs> kind, not, not the poodle-killing kind. In a charming and delightful way is that he loves you and wants you back. Dave Gibbs, huge fan of your work. Don't mind me. <laughs> I really want to be your boyfriend. I really want that too. Good. Because I love you. Kiss her, you brilliant fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Some people in that audience really went wild during that scene. Your date. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dinner. Bye. Dr. Cooper, pleasure to meet you, sir. Bye. Shamey's time. Let's go. Get out of the way. If perhaps sometime you have a spare moment, I'd uh, love, love to discuss physics. What a lovely evening. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> really? <laughs> It's already one on sale. Uh, what? They're not supposed to be available yet. I don't know what to tell you, but they're on sale. Wait, are you sure they're Star Wars tickets? Uh, no, it's Steel Magnolia's too even steelier. Uh, hold on a minute, because let me say something real quick. Star Wars Episode Seven. I think that's this one. I think this is the one they're talking about. Uh, the Force Awakens. I saw that in Korea. Okay. And I remember having to stand in line for hours because in Korea, at least where I was, I don't know if it's like that now, but I know 2015, yeah, 2015, I couldn't buy them online. <laughs> I don't know why. The, the theater they had on base, you could not buy tickets online. You had to just get there on time. I literally got permission to leave work early that day so I could stand in line three hours before the movie. Like, and, and there was still a line during that time. So <laughs> this is very important and this is going to be very tense. I'm not going to lie. All right. This goes against everything I stand for, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is Sheldon Cooper. Not Sheldon doing You're this. good friends with my mom. <laughs> I know I've spent my life denying that you exist. Shut up! Yeah, and I will continue to do so! <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm also really happy, but I can't pretend it's for you. New Star Wars in three days! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thursday can't get here soon enough. I'm taking off work to watch the original trilogy while I eat enough Star Wars cereal to choke a Wookiee. Jesus! You guys just got back together. You might not want to ditch her on her birthday. I think Penny has a point. We can see it another day. But someone may spoil the movie. You know, no one can spoil Amy's birthday for me. Surprise, she's even older. Who saw that coming? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Oh, great. This again. <laughs> Arthur, what brings you back? Well, this isn't a sex dream. <laughs> In the past, you've come to me when I'm struggling with a dilemma. And, and the one time where, where you were afraid and you needed me for, for a nightlight. Can I get out of this moo-moo now? <laughs> Those are the robes of the Jedi, the guardians of peace and justice in the galaxy. And they, they, they don't wear underwear. <laughs> Maybe you should show her how, how important she is to you. By seeing the movie she'd want me to see? No. 
children, you, you can see this movie whenever you want. But you only have a limited number of days that you, you can be with this one. Where are you going? I don't know, but hopefully somewhere I can wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him say that he bought tickets to see the movie with her. Sheldon, what's wrong? I wanted to let you know I'll be spending your birthday with you. Okay. <laughs> I, I had tickets to the Star Wars premiere that night, but Professor Proton came to me in a dream, dressed as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and convinced me I should be with you. But, uh, Sheldon, were you actually not going to spend my birthday with me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you should have said anything. This late, gotta go by. <laughs> Good for Sheldon, deciding to stay with Amy on a birthday. This is my ticket to Star Wars. I don't have to tell you, it is worth far more than its face value of $15.50. <laughs> I trust you'll give it to someone worthy. Oh boy. You got it. Well, Penny might want to join us. This is my ticket to <laughs> <laughs> What happens if I say come in? Huh? Find out. Come in! <laughs> <laughs> Bernadette! 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 <laughs> there you go. Come in. For future reference, if I want to watch Mean Girls, I'll stream on Netflix. <laughs> We're sorry. What do you need? Well, as you know, I'll be celebrating Amy's birthday with her, and I could use your assistance in helping me select the perfect gift. You know, when you tell them it's your birthday at Bennigan's, they make a fuss. I don't see why the Philharmonic would be any different. Okay, it's not the same thing. It's something a little more realistic. Well, Amy enjoys knitting her own sweaters, so I was thinking of getting her an all-expense-paid trip to the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. Oh. Well, she might like that. Okay, well, what's the third option? Wait, that I have coitus with her. Oh, God! <laughs> what do you think about giving Sheldon's ticket to Stuart? She broke her glass. Got any plans Thursday night? My, uh, my doctor's worried about my circulation, so I was thinking about walking around the mall. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you guys. That's... Don't make sure to wear sensible shoes. Will, want to go to Star Wars Thursday? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't believe she broke her glass. Our options, right? We've got harp thing, sheep thing, wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you think she'd prefer? Probably the third one. Because I checked the Sheep and Wool Festival website, and there's only 8,000 tickets left. Feels like now might be the right time. Oh, Sheldon, that's so beautiful. Then it's settled. Amy's birthday present will be my genitals. <laughs> <laughs> or we could take you to get a bikini wax. <laughs> Why would I get a bikini wax for my birthday? Uh, I don't know. It was just a thought. I think I'll just stick to Mexican. Oh, we just want you to be prepared for any surprises that might happen tomorrow. What surprises? <sighs> we don't want to spoil anything, but you should know that Sheldon said he's ready to be physical. You shut your damn mouth! <laughs> <laughs> we know how much he cares. I do know what to say. Let's get me waxed! <laughs> You go, girl! <laughs> Why isn't it ever Angie Dickinson's bedroom? <laughs> I've decided to be physical with my girlfriend, and I've never done that before. Oh, boy. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill himself with this. <laughs> worth a shot. <laughs> so, can you help me? Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> once, once the man gets the, the woman out of her out of her bloomers. <laughs> wow. I have no idea what kids these days are calling their parts. <laughs> I think they say junk. <laughs> What is happening to this world? You think that's bad? You should hear what they say now. Sheldon, if, if you're with the right person, it, it'll be okay. Thank you, Arthur. You are the wisest of the wise.
you're fun to look at. <laughs> Tonight's the night! Yeah, the wait is finally over! I know, then you'll finally stop talking about it! Something's gonna happen. T-minus 15 minutes! <laughs> oh, did you hear from Will? Yeah, he's on his way. Time for bladder check. Check. Check? Check. Wait. <laughs> Screw it, I'm holding it. <laughs> what is everyone booing at? Why? Doing. This is I not a smart Trek. idea. Just rooting for the home team. <laughs> this is Trek not a good teams. idea. Yeah, live long and suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. <laughs> oh. It's locked. Hi, Sheldon. Hello. Uh, sorry I'm late. I also got you a balloon, but it floated away and I chased it for a while. <laughs> That's okay. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Candles and music. Do you like it? It's kind of spooky. <laughs> I can change it back. No, no, no. It's your birthday. As long as no one jumps out in a hockey mask, I'll be fine. <laughs> I thought maybe we could do presents first. Oh. <laughs> All right, um, I should probably tell you something about this gift. You mean uh -oh. before you give it to me? Sheldon, I know your present is for us to be intimate tonight. I see. Uh-oh, he's not gonna do is it. Is that now. all right? Oh. I'm sorry, but this is a litigious society. I'm gonna need verbal consent. <laughs> He's not wrong about that there. Yes. You know, let me pull a quick contract off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just having fun. Everyone takes Star Wars so seriously. Like, if the movie's bad, it's gonna ruin their lives. Is it bad? Did you hear something? <laughs> oh my no. God, it's bad. Somebody kill me. Uh, episode seven wasn't See, bad, I mean. in my opinion. When you wake up in the morning, whether this is the greatest movie ever or a total piece of crap, your life isn't going to change at all. Try telling everybody that watched the ending of Game of Thrones that and see what happens, because I didn't like it either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this after or before? <laughs> she, she really does dress like an old grandmother, I swear. Hi. Amy. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Why are you shaking? Are you cold? I'm just um, really nervous. I've been waiting for this for so long. I've just built it up in my head. I don't know what to expect. Neither do I. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I know. We've been waiting so long for this. We've built it up in our heads so much. <laughs> Guys, it's just a movie. Although we all remember Jar Jar. Let's not talk about Jar Jar. Uh, I'm scared again. Well, I enjoyed that more than I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> I enjoyed that more than I thought I would. <laughs> I what happened to Howard? Right now. What happened to Howard? <laughs> I, I, I don't think I need any more advice. I, I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> How, how'd it go? This dirty guy. I, I saw it a few days later. What a movie. I don't think that's what he was talking about. I would, uh, she liked it fine. Yeah, but she doesn't have the history with the franchise I do. Sheldon. Okay. <laughs> good, good talk. I'm glad to see you made it safely. How's your hotel? It's not the best, best Western I've been to, but I'd say it's the third best, best Western I've been to. What makes a best, best buy the best, best buy? 
Why are we doing Tug Twisters? I like when they're next to a Chipotle. <laughs> okay, well, I should have yeah. back. All right. Enjoy the neurobiology conference. I will. Oh, good news, gentlemen. Amy's at a conference this weekend, which means I'm available to be entertained. As today's youth might put it, who wants to get their shell on? <laughs> Bernie and I are getting the house ready for the remodel. Could always use an extra pair of hands. That sounds awful, Raj. Well, I should warn you, it's just looking at data for hours and hours on a computer screen. Yeah, but you stop selling it, kid. You won. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How was your day? Uh, not good. I still couldn't get in to see Dr. Gallo. You, a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're not contagious. I've got a weekend in the telescope. She's a pharmaceutical rep, Sheldon. <laughs> what if you make an appointment as a patient? Well, then you'll get to talk to her. Yeah, they already know I'm a pharmaceutical sales rep. Oh, what if Leonard made an appointment and tried to lay some groundwork for you? <laughs> oh boy. Hey, I'm not gonna make a fake appointment with a psychiatrist. What would I say is wrong with me? Low self esteem. You got a lot wrong with Sexual you. insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> that last one, Sheldon. None of that is true. If it comes up, you could ask if she's heard about the drug. What if I get caught? A fear of failure. Lack of confidence. Kind of a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll do it, but not because of them. That was incredible. I can't get over Howard's hair. I just can't. I just wish Stuart wasn't around so we didn't have to be so quiet. I know. It's not like he returns the favor when he watches his Japanese porn cartoons. <laughs> oh my god! You guys got a minute? Or are you still toddling? Well, I know the remodel is coming up, so I thought I'd make it easy on you guys and find my own place. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought I was done getting lucky tonight. <laughs> so when are you thinking of moving? Uh, actually, I already found an apartment, so in a couple of days. Thank you guys for everything. I, I, I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hmm. What? I just have never been in this room while you're awake. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing now? Still making sure the telescope's camera is white field balanced. Oh, I see. How about now? <laughs> Yeah, you know, my father took me to work once, and in 10 minutes, I figured out who'd been stealing from the cash register. It was my father. <laughs> my dad lost his job, but Mr. Hinckley gave me a fudge sickle. Yeah, look at that, an Indian guy outsourcing a computer job to a white fella. Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever it takes to keep you busy for a few hours. Found one. <laughs> no, you didn't. There are millions of data points there. But look, an optical transient. You know, sometimes when a boy is special, he gets a fudge sickle. <laughs> which, by the way, tastes like the speed of light. Thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Why does she oddly look exactly like his mom in a way? Are you related to Dr. Beverly Hofstetter? Uh, she's my mother. Do you know her? No, not personally, but I have read all of her books. And you know her better than I do. But I can tell you I do not agree with her theories on child rearing at all. Really? This might be good for him. You find them cold, cruel, and unsuitable for innocent little boys who just want to be happy? Do you know she never let me celebrate my birthday because being born was her achievement, not mine? <laughs> That's heartbreaking. Right? To this day, I send her a card every year with a little money in it. What the? No. Leonard, no. You know, boy, who would have thought when you asked me to move in and help take care of your mom, I'd still be here two years later. No. Yeah, it's been two years? <laughs> well, that's it. Well, let us know when you're all settled in. I will. And I really can't thank you guys enough. Our pleasure. Bye. Good luck. He's gone. Let's start in the garage. <laughs> Perhaps it's a helio sheath scintillation. Yeah, it could be a trans-Neptunian object. <gasps> Maybe it's a new planet. Unlikely, but it could be a dwarf planet. Eh, as long as it has a healthy gravity in all its moons, I'll be happy. <laughs> okay, the final image is coming in. And the object we discovered is... Come on, Daddy needs a livable planet he can rule with an iron fist. Come on, a medium-sized asteroid is still an interesting discovery. 
I suppose it could end up on a collision course with Earth and destroy life as we know it. You dream different than me. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, great. Uh, Dr. Gallo is terrific. You know, I, I've always he didn't ask about the meds. That no one cares about what I have to say, but she yeah, made no me one cares. Did you help me out or not? You're only hearing that because I cannot roll my eyes any louder. <laughs> All right. Well, after we talked about my issues with my mother. Nothing too deep, just how she ruined my life. <laughs> Told her about you and your drug. She said she'd be happy to meet you. Really? So you'll go to the Doctor Who convention with me next week? <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, I actually <laughs> did hear your eyes roll that time. <laughs> what do you think we should do with this room? Well, I was thinking a home theater, a gaming room. You know, like a man cave. Why can't it be a woman cave? Well, as long as it has a home theater, a video game system, and you're not allowed in it, you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> what do you think we should do? No, no matter how hard they try, they could not guess his age. <laughs> no, I'll give it to him next time I see him. Have you heard from him since he left? No. I think he would have called once he got settled in. He wasn't too busy to binge watch Hot in Cleveland with my Hulu password. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening? Are we missing him? And he tried to deny it, but his teeth were all purple. <laughs> That was pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. Ew, we are missing him! <laughs> we'll call it Cooper. How was that both our names? Koo from Cooper Polly and Purr from Cooper. <laughs> so, so it's like Cooper with the K. Nah, you're right, that's dumb. <laughs> Don't, Leonard, great news. We discovered a medium sized asteroid together. Wow, that's amazing. I'm in a pretty great mood today myself. Okay, I guess we're gonna talk about you now. What happened to us? We, now, this isn't about us, it's about what's best for the asteroid. <laughs> what are you thinking of naming it? No, no, I haven't settled on anything we yet. We haven't settled on anything yet. Right, way to go, cat poster, you hang in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll take the AM from Amy and uh, the Y from Emily. Why are we doing that? That's just Amy. Exactly. See how well we work together? The boys in the lab were worried about getting FDA approval for Plasinex. They started taking it. Stop worrying. <laughs> Got it. Do you have any questions? Just one. Mm -hmm. When you made your husband pretend to be a patient so you could get access to me, what were you thinking there? Oh. Just Raised by an overbearing woman who completely dominated every aspect of his formative years. Do you think he's perpetuating that relationship by seeking out a partner like you? Whoa! You know? Stop! <laughs> right now! I used to wear tank tops a lot. That was a big selling point. Perhaps I should explain. While working with Kuthrapali, we discovered an asteroid, and I named it after you. Sheldon, thank you. That's so romantic. Uh, we get the asteroid, and if you and I have children, they all have to be named Rajesh. Oh, my God. All of them? Even the girls. <laughs> okay, I think I know what to say now. <laughs> How can I not sound like his mother? Oh, my God, she got him in the couch. Toys? I mean, have you ever had sex with a stuffed Wookiee watching you? I went to college in the 70s. It was a hairier time. I'm going to say yes. And not only am I Leonard's mother, but we have this man-child living with us named Sheldon. Oh, Leonard talked a lot about him. I wasn't sure if he was real. <laughs> yeah, he's as real as the fine oh, I get when God. I use too much toilet paper. You know, you might also benefit from a prescription for anxiety. OK, if you think it'll help. Oh, just don't make it Plasnex. I do not need sudden fits of homicidal rage. <laughs> She just like destroyed her own drug. <laughs> I miss you as well. Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Remember, girls, you decide what makes you happy, not your emotionally withholding mothers. Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Go Leonard! Go Leonard. Why? Why? All right, so that was part four of season nine for the Big Bang Theory, and I gotta say, we had some pretty good moments in, the, in this video. 
Um, specifically... You all saw that, right? Like, my dog is weird. My... <laughs> Specifically when Penny saw the therapist and everything and just kind of started breaking things open. I was like, please don't break the two of them up over this. I just don't want to see that. They are good. They're fine. We're going to keep them where they are. But hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you'd like to see my full length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye. <laughs>